Hey, Tads, look! Anonymous said, before discovering spaghetti, what did I like to eat? Very good question, Anonymous. And the great papyrus can give you a great answer. Now listen closely. Milk things! Things that are made of milk. That's how the great papyrus turned from baby bones to greaty bones. <laughs> you find an old tape. The old tape has a title on the side. Baby Bones Home Videos 14, August 2000. Hey, buddy. What you got there? What's for breakfast, Paps? Powage! Sons, you just don't appreciate the inherent complexities of spaghetti. Once I master this, they can be ravioli, rotini, penny, not to mention linguini, tortellini, and... What's this face? Oh, I'm just imagining the possibilities. That's it! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! Hey, Papyrus! Guess what? What? It's your birthday! You're four now! Uh, no! Uh, Pop? What's wrong? I don't want to be four! I want to be three! No! <laughs> oh my god, uh, what do I do? Three. Uh, someone help? Papyrus! Look, I got a present from Gooby! Now it's great, bro. I just hope that isn't soda or anything. It's not. Besides, it is gift, so it can't be bad. <laughs> if you say so, bro. <laughs> Papyrus, if you wanted some, you could have just asked. Perfectly sober. Yeah. What the heck? Why, why is it make you drunk? Are you sure that wasn't soda? Because it was so delicious. I would give it another shot. Enough, Papyrus! Oh, don't be such a drag, Sans. You're going to bed! Oh god, if I sleep anymore, I'll be depressed. <laughs> Sans, tiny human, how is the packing coming along? It's going great, bro. We're practically a couple of pack mules. How on earth can this even be considered packing? Sans, you lazy bones, we have to have all of our belongings packed and ready to move up to the surface in two mere hours. We will miss dinner with everyone at this rate, and... Don't worry, Paps. Moving all this stuff is going to be a cinch. Trust me. Ah, uh, fine. Just put more backbone into it, will you? I hate being the only responsible monster here. Well, kiddo, guess we better make like some eggs and get cracking, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm, let's see, where should we start? Hmm? What's up, kiddo? Hmm. Heh, <laughs> nice job, kid. Your packing peanut angel suits you. You are the angel to monsters, after all. Hmm. Sorry we gotta pick it up so soon. But you know, we don't want to rattle bro's bones. Well, I think this move was a bona fide success, huh, kid? Oh, thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. I'm here all week. Hey, what do you say we get out of here and hit Grillby's one last time? Mm. Hey, Pap, we're gonna be over at Grillby's, so feel free to meet us there when you're done. Yeah? Wait just a moment, Sans. You cannot simply walk out, you lazy. Yeah. Well. At least he did some work for a change. Huh? Uh, oh, sorry for the hold up, kid. Don't worry. I'm... I'm fine. I've just been thinking. For the longest time, we monsters have wanted nothing more than to escape the underground. And... Now that we're heading out, I can't help but feel a little nostalgic. I'm actually going to miss this old place, after everything that's happened. Anyway, let's head out before Pap tries to catch us. Ding, ding. And so I said, it's no problem. And, whoa. Wow. Talk about clearing out. Wonder if Grilbs had a fire sale. The only other time I've seen the place this empty was when Jerry showed up for karaoke night. And I will always... Oh, where did everyone go? Ah, 
I had a feeling I would be seeing you two today. Hey, Grilps. Staying fired up with your move over here? Indeed. Finishing up the last bit here. How are you three doing with your packing? The kid and I finished in a snap, but Pap is still working himself to the bone as usual. How's it going here? My daughter, Greater Dog, and I were able to get the majority of the bar to the surface. There are only a few things left. Well, if you need help moving the last of it up to the surface, I can give you a hand. Thank you, my friend. But before that, I have something for the two of you. Even if this bar is closing, I still have to treat its patrons. Here you are, a hot chocolate for you, young Frisk, and a fresh bottle of ketchup for you, Sans. Sweet! You're the monster, Grilbs. Can you believe we are moving on from this place, Sans? It still does not seem possible. Heh, <laughs> I was saying the same thing to Frisk before we got here. Us monsters are finally getting what we've dreamed of. But still, I have come to appreciate the good times we have all shared here. In fact, this very bar was where we first met and became friends. Do you remember? Of course I remember. When I used the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick, your reaction was too priceless to forget. Sans, that was not our first time meeting. Uh, have you truly forgotten that night? Huh? I suppose it was a long time ago. <laughs> nah, I remember it as clear as day. I just figured you'd forgotten about that. Uh? You ask how Sans and Grillby first met. Well, I suppose I could explain. If you do not mind, Sans. Sure, knock yourself out. Let us see. It was about 16 years ago. I was working for my father at this very bar as a busboy. I was 12 then, and on that particular night, I was simply taking out the trash. I never could have imagined what I found in that back alley. Ugh. Why does Dad always make me take out the- Huh? Who is there? Hmm? Uh, uh well, wait! Come back! Please, hold on! I'm sorry that I startled you. Were you looking for something just now? Are you... Are you hungry? Uh, um... Did... Did you just ask if I was hungry? Huh. Usually when monsters find me digging through their trash, they have a bone to pick with me after. <laughs> but you're not mad? No, of course not. I hope you do not mind me asking, but what are you doing out here all alone? Actually, I'm not alone. I... I have my little brother with me. He and I haven't eaten in... a while. So I decided to stop in Snowden for some food. But all of the shops are closed, and I... I don't have money to pay for food anyway. I'm sorry for going through your trash, but... I really should get going. This poor little kid does look like he is starving. And he has a little brother with him? I have to help. Hold on! Please wait here for just a minute! I promise I will be right back! Huh? That night, I knew that I had to do something to help, even if it meant lying to my father. I knew I would be punished somehow afterwards, but I was not about to let anyone go hungry if I had a say in it. I was prepared to steal from my own father. <sighs> okay, here we go. Grilby, where is our last order? What are you doing back there? Sorry, father. I did not cook the order properly. I will get on the next one when I am done with the trash. Very well, but be quick about it. Oh hey, there you are. You ran off in such a flash. I figured I'd hang like you asked. Thank you for waiting. I apologize for my sudden disappearance, but... Here, this is for you. I packed two hamburgers, two large fries, ketchup, and mustard packets. I believe you should be set. I apologize for there not being more. What? But... I... I can't pay for... Oh no, you do not owe me anything. We could start a tab if you really wanted, but please take it for your brother and yourself. After all, even skeletons cannot live on empty stomachs, can they? <laughs> oh, oh my, that was a terrible pun. I apologize. <laughs> uh, good one. I, I can't thank you enough. Er, my name is Grilby, 
My friends call me Grilbs, for some strange reason. Heh. <laughs> Grilbs. I like it. My name's Grilby. Where on earth are you? Who? We have customers waiting. Oh no. Father. Uh, I'm sorry, Father. I was just talking to a friend of mine, and... Uh? W where did he go? He was just here. Uh? When I saw Sans and Papyrus together for the first time, I could immediately tell just how much Sans cared about his brother. The two of them were obviously hungry, but Sans let his brother eat before him. I wanted to call out to them, but I had a feeling they did not want my father to see them and get caught. Papyrus waved at me, thanking me, I suppose. I did not deserve it. I wished I could have done more, but the next thing I knew, they vanished out of thin air. After that night, I believed I would never see Sans or Papyrus again. The experience influenced my life substantially, and I dedicated my time to serving people here, as my father had intended since I was born. Then, about ten years later, Sans and Papyrus suddenly reappeared in Snowden. Sans and I never really talked about that night, but even now, I can't help but wonder. Where were you and Papyrus all of those years, Sans? Why were you two homeless back then? Uh... Heh. <laughs> there really isn't much to tell, Grilbs. It's a pretty boring story. Besides, the kid doesn't want to have to listen to a long, old story like that. Isn't that right for- Oh, jeez, kid. Not you two. <sighs> listen, you two. I have my reasons for staying quiet about our story. Honestly, I've never told it to anyone. Partly because I don't really like living in the past, and also because I don't want my past to change what I've got now. And trust me, if you knew some of the things I've done, I doubt you'd ever be able to see me the same way again. But if you really want to hear the truth, there's one term you have to agree to first. That is it! This is the final sock, Sans! I knew he had simply hidden that sock he left downstairs months ago somewhere, instead of taking it to his room. This time, I will not give in to his lazy ways. Sans will just have to carry his revolting sock as punishment. It is about time that I, Master Organizer Papyrus, imbue proper habits into that skull of his. I swear, what would Sans do without- But if you really want to hear the truth, there's one term you have to agree to first. Huh? You can't tell Papyrus anything I'm about to tell you. S sans What? Sans, why would you want to hide your own past from Papyrus? As your brother, he deserves to hear such information. Why not simply tell him the truth as well? It's not that simple, Grilby. What on earth do you mean? Sans, he is your family, just as we are. I know Papyrus would understand whatever you have to tell- You don't know a damn thing about what I've done! You can't understand how this even feels now! Yeah. D damn uh, I'm sorry, Grilby. I haven't lost my cool like that for a long time. I understand what you're saying, but I just can't tell him. Sorry, pal, but if you want to hear anything, I really need you to stick to the term. I see. Then I suppose I will have to agree to it. I... I will not say a word to Papyrus, if it would benefit you both, as you seem to believe. Forgive me, Papyrus, but I believe Sans needs to rid his mind of his secrets if he is to move on. Well then, kid, I guess it's your turn. I'm sorry to even ask you this. I know how close you and Bro are, but if you're, uh, determined to hear this story, then I need your word. Hmm... Very good, Frisk! You have impressed even Master Chef Papyrus! Yeah! You promise not to tell Papyrus and feel your guilt crawling on your back. Well then, I guess there's no going back then, huh? <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll tell you everything there is to know about my bro and I. You might as well get comfortable. The story is no walk in the park. Guess it's time to break a leg then, huh? <laughs> Man, I've never had stage fright before. Sans, what are you hiding from me? Let's start out the old-fashioned way, huh? 
Once upon a time, monsters and humans lived in peace. But even during a time of peace, the king of all monsters still had his loyal followers, the royal guards, monsters of integrity and strength. One such monster was known for her unparalleled magical skills and her quick wit, for both attacks and puns. Her name was Ariel. She was one of the elite royal guards to King Asgore. She was fast, bright, and funny as hell. She could make anyone smile or laugh. Especially her baby bones brat, Sans. Yep, I was mom's Who's first monster kid. Funny bone, I don't huh? remember a whole lot of our times together. But what I do remember <laughs> is that mom was really something. She was so kind and was always smiling. I looked up to her so much that I started picking up joke books as soon as I could read. I was I her funny so bone, proud. after all. Huh. <laughs> Had to live up to the name. And even though she was a single mom taking care of a little monster kid, she still trained hard and helped others in the royal guard get stronger every day. Mom and I only had each other, and sometimes I got lonely when she was away. On those days, I'd ask if I had a dad. She would always answer with a smile. Sans, you have a father, and I know he loves you very much. Someday, I'm sure you two will meet. But until then, know that I am always here for you. And then, one day, both of our lives totally changed when Mom came home with a little bundle of bones. There's my little funny bone. I have someone I want you to meet, Sans. Say hello to your baby brother, Papyrus. Huh? Uh-oh, it sounds like someone wants their big brother. Would you like to hold him, Sans? Uh, uh, okay. The first time I held Papyrus, I was so nervous my bones were rattling. He was so small, I thought if I moved even an inch he would turn to dust or start wailing. <sighs> hey there, P Papyrus. My name's Sans. I'm your big bro. Don't worry, I got ya. But instead, Pap smiled at me like I'd never seen anyone smile before. And just like that, the fear went away. <laughs> That's my good little bro. Yeah. <laughs> and just like that, Pap and I were stuck together like glue. Yeah. I still remember how I felt that day. It was like a <laughs> hole in my soul had been filled in seconds. All of the loneliness I felt went away, and all I cared about from that moment on was seeing Pap smile again and again. The three of us were so happy together, and even without a father, we were a perfect family, but as I've learned since then, nothing can stay the same forever. Look at you, Papyrus. My scarf looks much better on you, huh? You take good care of it. Mom, what's going on? Why is everyone being sent underground? Aren't you coming with us? Sans, don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. We're just having a little disagreement with the humans right now. And King Asgore needs the royal guard to talk things out. Be, be good little monsters and stay together until I get back. And Sans, be my brave funny bone and take care of your brother, okay? Don't worry, Mom. I'll keep an eye socket on him. That was the day that the war of monsters and humans started. Humans, afraid that monsters would absorb their souls and become all-powerful, attacked us monsters without mercy. The humans, with their physical forms, completely overpowered the monsters that fought back with Asgore. But they fought on anyway, even when monster dust clouded the sky. It was the third day, the last day of the war, that changed everything. <sighs> Where did that human go? <sighs> did she run away? both to death <laughs> uh, 
be good. Please, take care of our boys. I love you three so, so much. Mom died that day. Like so many other monsters. The rest of us were trapped in the underground by the barrier. And just like that, Pap and I were alone. Your name is Sans, correct? I am so sorry about your mother. I knew her for a short time. She was very brave. My name is Lycan. I am a servant to the king and a monk, which means I wish to help you and your little brother any way I can. Will you get on with it, Lycan? We have plenty of brats to round up. Patience, brother. <sighs> Sans, we are putting together an orphanage for little ones like you and your brother. But in order to care for your brother properly, he will need to go to a separate caretaker for his age group. May I take him there? I promise he will be very safe. No, I can take care of Papyrus on my own. Please, please don't worry. I will make sure that you get to see him as often as possible. And uh, we'll be here all day if you keep talking, Lycan. Here, let me show you how to deal with the situation. Come here, you little sack of bones. Hand over your little brat brother. Stop. Stop. No, let me go. What are you doing? Let the child go. Why waste your time on a couple of runts? We're all trapped underground. Just ship him off so we can worry about ourselves. Stop this now, Silas. This child has done nothing wrong. I know you are grieving, but to let that control your emotions. You don't know anything, old man. I won't. I won't let you. I won't. I won't let anyone take my brother away from me. Huh? That was the first time I used magic. Huh. I still wonder if I should love my magic or hate it. I'll, uh, talk about that more later. Uh, huh. Uh, what? What happened? Where? Uh, are we? Uh, how did I get away? Where did they go? It's dangerous for them to be alone down here. Solas, help me find them. Sans? Sans, I'm so sorry, Sans. Please come out, and we can... Damn, brat. Where did you go? Lady Toriel is going to set me on fire if she finds out. We lost some snot-nosed monster kids. They're looking for me. I'd better stay quiet or they'll... <laughs> oh no, that... It's okay, bro. Shh. Please don't cry. Pap, it's, it's alright. Just look at me, bro. Don't worry. I promise. We'll always be together. Make no bones about it. <laughs> Mom, I won't let you down. I'll protect him, no matter what. From there, I took Pap and ran into the underground. The rest of the monsters followed right behind us, and before we knew it, they turned the underground into a real home for us monsters. All the while, I did my best to keep Pap safe and tried to find a place to live. We ended up in an abandoned shack on the edge of the capital. I became pretty well known around there for stealing and begging for money, but never got caught thanks to my magic. And when I wasn't getting in trouble, I was looking after Pap and trying to find our dad. Back then I had no idea if he really existed, but I searched day and night. All I wanted was for Pap to have a real parent in his life, like Mom had been. Mom, so that's what happened to you, and all that time brother. He... <laughs> but no matter how hard I looked, I couldn't find him. So I took care of Pap as best as I could. He probably wouldn't even remember any of those days. He was only four when he met you, Grilbs. But I did everything I could to make him happy. Sans, how long do I have to keep my eyes covered for? Well, bro, I think the surprise is going to be a real eye-opener. So I'll let the suspense build a little. <laughs> Sans! You promised! No puns on my birthday! Oops, I forgot. I'm too used to being humorous all the time. <laughs> Alright, you can open now. <gasps> Wowie! A teddy bear! Pap was the only thing I lived for. <laughs> Glad you like him. 
Let me guess, you can barely hold back your love for him, right? Sans the pawns! And to this day, I look back on our time together and wish I'd done more. I always tried my best to be a good bro, but I've had my fair share of failures. Sans, why can't you see that you are an amazing brother? I don't understand. Anyway, now that you know where we started out, I guess it's about time I explain how we got to where we are now. Pap and I were living in New Home, in our shack we had called home for a few years. I was 16 at the time, and Pap was about 8. He was going to school while I tried to make ends meet, behind his back so he wouldn't worry. On a totally normal day, I changed our world forever. <sighs> Damn. Only 5G today. Well, I guess it's true what they say. Beggars can't be choosers. Guess I'll have to figure something else out for food. But Pap will be home any second. Better take a shortcut and grin and bear it. <laughs> Sans, I'm home. Oh, hey, bro. You got home so quick you must have hit a home run. <laughs> so how was... school? Huh? It was... all right. Pap, what happened to you? Oh, God, Pap, are you okay? Here, let me take a look at- No! I'm fine! Just leave me alone! Come on, Pap, just let me look. What happened to you? I, I tripped and fell on my way home. Pap, you're great at everything, but lying is not your strong suit. Let's sit down so I can try to heal you up, then tell me what really happened. It- it happened after school today. I was leaving when I saw another monster getting picked on by some b bullies. I went over and asked them to stop, but then they came after me. They dared me to fight them, but I told them I just wanted them to be nice so that we could be friends. That's when they threw rocks at me and beat me up until I was able to run away. <sighs> I just thought that if I was nice enough, they might have been nicer back. I wanted to be brave and help everyone, but I, I couldn't. Pap, you were brave. I don't think I could ever be as brave as you and do what you did. Standing up for someone else? Trying to be peaceful rather than fighting? I'm so proud of you, bro. But then again, I don't know what else to expect from the Great Papyrus other than greatness. Does that feel better now? Y yeah Tell you what, how about for being so brave, I'd go and get you some ice cream for dinner. You earned it. R really Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sans. Sans, you aren't mad, are you? I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Huh? <laughs> nah, I'm not mad, bro. I'll be back in just a bit, okay? It's true. I'm not mad. <laughs>